Welcome back to River City Live. When I grew up, I had a summer reading list that wasn't quite the party that my teachers promised. If I'd had something like Jack's Public Library summer and story time programs, it might have been a different story. Well, I am so excited for story time, and I hope you all are too. And I have a fun song that I like to play before we read stories. You ready? Here we go. Well, if you're ready for story time, everybody clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, everybody clap your hands. It's summertime, it's summer at the library, and we have some great things going on. There's going to be a lot of chances to win prizes, to earn books. Um, we want you to read 15 minutes a day, and you do that for 15 days, you get a free book. So um, it's going to keep you going all summer, it's going to keep your kids um, in, uh, keep their education up, and uh, it's just a great way to spend summer with the library. And not only is it about reading uh, books yourself, but it's about story time and activities and events and all kinds of things we got going on. Chris and Joe are super excited for the Jacksonville Library System's summer programs. Chris encourages adults to get in on the 15 minutes of reading as well, though no rewards. Joe breaks down what story time is like. I will be performing some of these great story times that we'll be having all summer. We're gonna be doing pop-up story times. We're gonna have them at four locations around town, so hopefully there's a good one near you. Uh, we're gonna have one at Clutho Park, one at Highlands, uh, right down here at South Mandarin Park, where we're at. Uh, and over at West Branch. So we're gonna be singing, dancing, and having a good time. We're having a couple times a week uh, at those different locations. And pretty much we just want everybody to come out into the park, uh, enjoy the beautiful fresh air. And we're just gonna be singing and dancing and reading books and just yeah, enjoying each other once again uh, after a long time of uh, being solo and virtual. So we make this uh, as enjoyable as it can possibly be. It's, it's a community event when we all come together for story time. Uh, you know, the singing, the dancing, I, that just reinforces the stories and it turns it into something that makes it a lifelong love for, uh, for all these little kids. And that's what we really want and hope that it'll do is it excites the kids about reading, it excites the parents uh, about reading to their kids and it excites the parents just reading in general. I'm also about getting outside. Last spring, yeah, the Jack's walk, Library opened up Story Walk in Pluto right Park at a very interesting in time. Just about the time that COVID started uh, started happening, just about the time everything shut down, we started Story Walk in Clutho Park. Yeah, it was a uh, lucky time for us to switch to a little bit of outdoor um, self-guided activity. So yeah, but uh, but yeah, so we started that, and it, and that's definitely part of the reason that we're continuing on with these outdoor story times. It's kind of amazing how things just kind of work out, right? If you end up participating in story time, swag bags on deck for the young ones, but folks of all ages are encouraged to join the fun. So we've got a couple things that uh, if you come into the library, you're gonna be able to do some interactive things. There's scavenger hunts, there's trivia walls, and a lot of fun things. And you can also pick some stuff up to take home. So preschoolers are gonna get this backpack. So if you're a four-year-old preschooler, if you haven't already got one at your VPK or your preschool, you can come and pick up this backpack. It's a bunch of books. They're all about Jacksonville, um, and uh, there's a lot of great little fun activities for you to do, so that's free. And the other thing we have are we have these art kits. So you can come pick up an art kit. It's got felt and paint and all kinds of supplies. You can make your own little art projects at home. So great ways to uh, interact with the library, all for free. Chris has a final thought to leave with us. What we really want people to do is, is we want people to go on the library's website, jackspubliclibrary.org, and sign up to start getting email notifications about story time. So you go to jackspubliclibrary.org slash summer, um, you'll be able to put in your email address, and then you're going to get all the information right there in your inbox. You're not going to have to worry about going to find it anywhere else. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Everybody clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, everybody clap your hands. Cause right here is story time. Everybody's part of the band. Oh, I can't wait to see you all at story time. <laughs>
Now that is a band I want to be a part of. Full disclosure, I am an avid reader, so disregard that opening intro. But Chris mentioned ways that you can join their email newsletter, but if you want to be a part of the story time, you have to reserve your spot. So you go to jackspubliclibrary.org kids, and you can make that happen there. We've got more River City Live coming up. Hang with us.